Hey everyone, hope you're having an amazing day. It's Mark Wiens. I'm in Nakhon Si Tamarat in the south of Thailand. And I am just extraordinarily excited because it is stink bean season in Thailand, in the south of Thailand. Also known as Pete or Petai. This is one of my favorite single ingredients in the entire world. And this is a, a stink bean tree right behind me, which is just blossoming. There's just stink beans just like hanging, just blossoming, hanging. You can put your face in it. But, okay, so today uh, we're gonna hopefully pick a bunch, a cluster of sata stink beans. And then my brother-in-law's mother is gonna cook them with curry paste, spicy, vibrant, potent curry paste with turmeric southern Thai style. Uh, and so in this video on Big on Spice, it's dedicated to my favorite food in the world. Well, at least one of my favorite foods in the world. But almost nothing makes, makes me as excited as stink beans in the world. And when they're right before you on the tree so you can see the way that they're harvested, see the way that they grow, that even makes it more unique, more interesting, more fascinating plant foods. Oh, it's kind of fun <laughs> to drive this. Oh, this is a whole family to do. That's how I do it. We literally are parking underneath the sata, the stink bean tree, greeting us. Oh. It's like just in your face. So here's the thing. I have shown you stink beans so many times. We've eaten stink beans together, but this is the first time that even for me that I have seen, been here in season at the correct time in South of Thailand to be able to see the tree just blossoming with stink bean clusters ready to eat. So May is to like totally explaining to us, but it's kind of complicated and I don't understand completely, but I'll try to explain the best and also translate what she said. So first you have these little blossoms. Uh, which kind of hang down here. Looks like one of those, remember those massages that I, I haven't seen them in years, but that you like put over your head like that and kind of, it kind of just like touches those nerve endings. That's kind of what it, that's kind of what it reminds you of. And then once it, to this blossom, it starts flowering, I believe, and it turns into this kind of like furry, furry ball. Oh yeah, that's hairy and furry uh, and like petally. Once those little flowers, all of that falls off that little, that little hairy ball. <laughs> then you can see there's a few baby ones where the actual uh, clusters of stink beans start to form and starts to grow from that little ball. And stink beans are common throughout this entire region of the world, especially common in southern Thailand, Malaysia, Indonesia. It's usually cooked with something strong and spicy like shrimp paste, lots of chilies. Uh, so it's usually associated with spicy food. Okay, I got me. <laughs> And this is a sata family. They're selling, they're selling stink beans. Their table is full of sata. It all came from this tree? Wow. This one is not too high though. It's like right, right here, just head level. Oh yeah, it's pretty tough. There we go. Oh man, I'm at an all-time peak excitement. Let me just shake off those ants though. Literally, it's like a, a chandelier, a cluster of stink beans. Not to mention stink beans, they are extremely healthy. They're full of vitamins, full of minerals, uh, just packed full. It's like little almond-sized vitamins of natural, just just the way they grow too. Sometimes they're called cluster beans, sometimes they're called uh, twisted beans because of that twisted cluster stock. 
but I am just overjoyed to have been able to pick stink beans for the first time in my life and we are off back to the house with our three-wheeler motorbike side cart with some stink beans. Talk about going big on spice. I'll get my kua. Oh, she's also getting some of the eggplants. Yeah, come in. Uh, uh. And she's also getting a buop, which is a lufa. A loofah, maybe to fry also with it. Alice and May is gonna be making pad pet, which is a chili stir fry using curry paste with the stink beans. I just wanted to make something easy and something around the house. So she has eggplant, uh, which is growing. So she's just gonna fry it with some curry paste and eggplant, but really quickly. Uh, okay, first let's see how she's opening the stink beans. The edible part is the little bean, which the little green bean, which is kind of almond sized, but can be bigger than an almond at the same time the, for the older beans. Uh, you can eat them older, which have a stronger taste, or you can eat them younger, which is more uh, like the texture is a little softer and not quite as strong of a flavor. You can eat them fresh like this. You can eat them, oftentimes they're pickled and preserved. Uh, you can roast them. We've been eating them every way, form, and shape. Uh, but for this dish, usually they're eaten fresh like this and then just stir fried. I just have been uh, researching some of the scientific terminology and also some of the some of the information. It's very high in sulfur, which is similar to cabbage, which is similar to um, shiitake mushrooms, I think asparagus. From that like light bulb flower. So once those uh, flowers fall off, uh, it says that it secretes, uh, there's this nectar that attracts the bats and bats come and they actually pollinate that bulb, those flowers. And then after that process is when the fruit emerges. And so the stink bean clusters, this is the fruit. Uh, and then what you actually eat are the, the seeds. It says that usually there's seven to eight uh, pieces per, per pod. This one could be a bonus one though. There's definitely more than that. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. This one has 13. That is healthy and lush. And there's just nothing more beautiful in the world than a whole table full of stink beans. First she added in the Southern Thai curry paste, which she makes herself includes turmeric, a lot of black pepper, a lot of dried chilies, lemongrass, probably uh, galangal as well. And so she stir fries that in a little bit of oil and then added in the eggplant and then added in the stink beans and the chilies. Uh, and then she, oh, she added in a dry spice mixture, which I think mostly is cumin and uh, coriander seed. Okay. 
<laughs> Talk about going big on spice, and I didn't even, I did not ask her to put that handful of fresh chilies on top. She just does that naturally, and just that aroma. Uh, she also said that she fried it kind of crisp. Didn't want to make the eggplant too soft. Um, and those bright, colorful chilies are unbelievable. Put that there. A little bit more. And you can see the eggplant, the stink beans. Some of those chilies and stink beans are so bright, they're almost transparent. And they're just almost like glow in the dark. This is like, I mean, this entire plate literally is like neon colors. And that aroma, you can really smell the, the turmeric and the lemongrass in there too from that curry paste. Let me try to seek out a couple chilies, a couple bright chilies, a couple bright stink beans for my first bite before moving on to the, the eggplant. That is a perfect first bite. That has to be like four whole stink beans and like four chilies within this spoon. Wow, that's a, just a bite of overdose flavor. Wow. The fresh pungency of those stink beans. Unbelievable flavor. I mean, just as potent and flavorful as the stink beans are, are those chilies, which immediately kind of got up your nose, they're pretty decently spicy. But not just spicy, it's that fragrance, that aroma that goes with them. That's just an ultimate plate of bright freshness. I don't think I've ever seen a plate of food this bright before in my life. This might be the brightest neon colored natural plate of food I've ever seen in my life. Oh yeah, and that's spicy too. That's just like the beginning of the spice. Some of the eggplant and some of that loofah on this bite. And in addition to that curry paste, I just noticed because before I was just focusing on the stink beans, but now I can, with that bite, I can really taste that dry spice powder mix that she added in the cumin and the coriander seed. Just adds another depth, another layer of complexity. Chilies are starting to build up. They're starting to hit me strong. Wow. Mm. Wow. And yeah, those chilies are going to the back of my throat now. Wow, that's a burn. That is big on spice, big on flavor. Oh, that just lights your mouth on fire. Wow, that's good. Just the afternoon rain has just started. Like clockwork, every single afternoon, it just starts to downpour. That was ultimate flavor. Talk about a dish that was big on spice. But again, featuring one of my favorite ingredients in the world, stink beans, uh, pitai, or bitter beans and just being able to see it on the tree. That was not only delicious, but it was an educational, a learning experience. Thank you to you for watching this video. I'm gonna be publishing a lot more videos, especially focusing on unique fruits and vegetables, uh, food that's good for you, just good for you, that tastes good, and that's big on spice. Uh, so thanks again for watching, and I will see you on the next video. Goodbye from Nakhon Si Tamarat, Southern Thailand, and I'll see you on the next video.